Hey there, it's Michael. Well, on Monday, as I was getting my colonoscopy on, and it went well. I get to do it again in a few years. How awesome sauce is that? And thank you for everyone who checked in about my health. Well, as I was doing that, my youngest daughter was getting her tattoo on. That's right, she came home with a tattoo. And when she came home, it was covered in a bandage, and it just brought me back to the time when her and her sister were just little girls. You see, I'm going through this whole period of like, what happened? They were just my little girls, and now they're adults period of my life. I'm somewhat arguing with reality, and right now reality is sort of winning. Well, back then, they were consumed with Band-Aids. Now, if you have little kids, you totally understand this. Forget about cup cuts and scrapes. Those are Band-Aid worthy moments. I'm talking about bumping your knee or your elbow or just growing pains. All they wanted was a Band-Aid. When their tears were flowing, sometimes the Band-Aid was the only thing that could comfort them. It made them feel better, it eased their pain, but here's the deal. You know this, I know this, Band-Aids are great at preventing infection or making the wound get, you know, stop it from getting worse, but they don't ease the pain. When I look back at my daughter's historical use of Band-Aids, here's the thing, they really can't compete with how frequently we use them as adults, especially at work. Like that conversation that just skims the surface and doesn't talk about the core issue, that's a Band-Aid. Or that check the box workshop or offsite that doesn't go deep enough, and it just leaves folks with more post-traumatic workshop disorder, as I like to say, that's a Band-Aid. Or it's our attempt to do a whole bunch of stuff, put Band-Aids on a whole bunch of a lot because we're too scared to cut, pun intended, the things that don't truly matter. They're all Band-Aids and they don't make things better. They just kick the pain down the road. And this whole chase or use of Band-Aids also appears in our personal lives. Instead of going deep and looking within, pedaling towards mastery day after day after day, we look for band-aids to soothe us. It's that quick fix, it's that hack that we believe that will change everything. It will make everything better and the unicorns and rainbows will come out. It's also chasing external merit badges of wealth or success instead of creating wealth inside first and then working our way out. Now, band-aids have their place. I don't wanna get in trouble with J&J. They're great for crying three-year-olds or sometimes when we need a few minutes just to drum up the courage to look inside because doing that takes some vulnerability and courage. But sooner or later, if you really want success and happiness in your life and in your career, it's time to rip the Band-Aid off and get to work on the work that matters most. As always, thanks for watching. Scroll down to say hello and be sure to pick up your copy of My Last Bad Day Shift. It's the number one new release on Amazon. It's all practical advice, no Band-Aids in the book whatsoever. And you can use the coupon code called SHIFT and you can get a free copy plus the first chapter of my me memoir and 25% off shipping and handling. Something you can't get on Amazon, pretty cool. I'll put the link below. And until next week, have fun storming the castle. Talk to you soon, everyone. Bye-bye.